Hey guys, I am Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. Last week, Stanford released an open source instruction following model which is fine tuned from Meta's Lama 7 billion parameters model. It behaves similarly to OpenAI's Tex Da Vinci 003 but is smaller and easier to reproduce. This is how the end product looks like after you successfully install or run this on your local computer. Here on the top, you can choose the models that you downloaded. I have downloaded Alpaca 7B and Llama 7B in my local computer. I can choose Alpaca 7B for now and you can change different configurations which are on top of the screen. You can choose the template. Let's go with the default one for now. And if you ask something here, let's say we want open AI, then you can just say go. So what it does is it will complete or autocomplete the things that we ask. So that is completing what we gave it as a prompt. I find many people having difficulty in installing and running in the local machine because I went through GitHub and people were finding some difficulties installing. I was also there because I find difficulty myself and I replied there and many people also find it helpful. So why not create a complete beginner's video so that you can also run those openly available models in your local machine. I will go through a step by step process so the video might be long Let's get started. Let's first see what this Stanford Alpaca model is because we need to know some basics. What is this model actually? There is the long text. They have explained all these things and they also have the web demo, but that was taken down and they have the GitHub link here. If you click the link, it will take you to the GitHub page. You can go here and see all the code and documentation, how to train the Words Alpaca models and generate the data also but the main part here you need to understand is this figure here what they are doing actually is they use the open ai's model that takes da vinci 003 to generate 52000 training data for meta's llama 7b model and they create a new model which performs similar to the open AI takes Da Vinci 003. And the cost is way, way smaller. As you can see here, they say that it costs just around $500 to have the training data created. And it costs like less than $100 for training the mode. You can go through the article. I will provide the link in the description. But that is the main thing that you need to know here. So now, Okay, here is the Stanford Alpaca model. We also have the Meta's Llama model, right? So how can we run it now? That is the main thing or main point here, right? So there is this which is created by Cocktail Peanut. It says the simplest way to run Llama on your local machine. We can use Dalai to run that in our local machine. So here it says that run Llama and Alpaca on your local computer. And there is just two commands that you need to know. But I want to create this video because these two commands actually give some errors, which I also faced when I run the model. And I went to GitHub to see if others are also facing the issue. So by the way, if you are using some open source project, the best way is to go to the GitHub page and in this issues tab, because somebody else will be also facing something similar to what you are also facing. I also faced them um, some issues. I went here and I actually get the same error what it is mentioned here. And I was not alone. There was also someone. I did some investigation myself and I got a way to run the alpaca model and I gave the instructions here. And many people find it interesting helpful also. And then the thread continues all the way here. And then people were finding some solutions and providing some solutions. And I get a way now to install or run this on my local machine. So I will show you how we can do that. So before that, 
let's go to the official website of this Dalai. So if you scroll all the way up here, there is this website. It takes you to their official website. Dalai run this on your local computer. All the instructions is provided in this website. You can use Docker to run this model also. And there is this Mac, Windows and Linux. I'm, I'm going to run this on the Mac, but you can go through the instructions here. You need to have the Python, which is less than 3.10. So you need to have that version of the Python. And you need to have a node. What is node? Node is an open source cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment. And this Dalai is hosted in the node package manager. So it's the, this is the registry of uh, NPM. And if you just type here, okay, I typed the wrong spelling, Dalai, then you can see, okay, search. Okay, you can see that this is the package they have hosted in NPM. And we are going to use, as per this documentation you see here, if you go to Mac version, it says NPX, right? What is NPX again? NPX is also a CLI tool whose purpose is to make it easy to install and manage dependencies hosted in the NPM registry. So you can see here that this Dalai is hosted in NPM registry. We are going to use NPX to run that in our local machine. This is how it works. Before serving the model locally on your local computer, let's first see what are the requirements. So here it says in the website, it runs on Linux, Mac and Windows. And then here it says memory requirements is it runs on most modern computers unless your computer is very very old so here it says that the 7 billion 13 billion 30 billion and 75 billion models uses around 4 8 16 and 32 gb of space respectively so that is how how much space it is going to take but the interesting fact is that that is the quantized version of the model but actual actual model size or model text is quite bigger. So just for 7 billion, it takes like 31 GB. And if you scroll all the way down to 65 billion model, it takes around 432 GB of storage. But the quantized version uses 40 GB. So if you want to run the 65 billion on your local machine, make sure that you have at least 40 GB of the space in my experiment or in my demo that I'm going here now. I'm just using 7 billion parameters for both Llama and Alpaca. It's up to you which model you want to use. Now let's go and install the models we want. By default, it will the model will be installed in your home folder where I am here now, but you can also install any folder you want. Let's say that I want to create a new folder. Let's say I want to create make a directory and then I want to create uh, a test folder. Now I have created the folder. Let's let me go inside the folder. I'm inside the folder. Now what I can do, I need to install the model, right? So npx the lie add the it. So let's use the particular version 0.3.1 and then I want to use alpaca model inside the particular folder. So this is the command that you need to type npx dalai at the rate 0.3.1 alpaca install 7b home dalai test. So you, you can run this to install. So once that is being installed there, what I was referring to you before was that here npx dalai lalama install 7b will install in your home directory. And if you scroll all the way down in this GitHub page, it says here that it says the instructions here. Let me scroll all the way down here. Here it says by default dalai uses your home directory to store the entire repository. However, sometimes you may want to store archive elsewhere. So for that, we need to provide the home tag. That is what I provided so that I can install that model. 
in the particular folder, not in the home directory itself. And for that, as I said here, npx Dalai Lama. Okay, Dalai Lama. I think they made it in a way that it sounds Dalai Lama. So Dalai L L A M A install seven billion home and the directory you want. So in my case, it was Dalai Test. So that is how you can install this. You need to go to the npm and see the latest version. And for me, this zero point three point one works. And that, that's the reason I'm actually using that particular version. In the beginning, it will take some time to install. But, but while that is installing, let's go and also see what is actually this Meta's Llama model. Let's see the abstract. We introduce Llama, a collection of foundation language models ranging from 7 billion to 65 billion parameters. We train our models on trillions of tokens and so that it is possible to train state-of-the-art models using publicly available datasets exclusively without resorting to proprietary and inaccessible datasets. In particular, LAMA's 13 billion outperforms GPT-3, which has 175 billion parameters on most of the benchmarks, according to them, and Lama 65 billion is competitive with the best models such as Chinchilla 70B and Palm 540 billion. We release all our models to the research community. That means this is open sourced and that's the reason we are using it now. By the way, if you want to know what are the training data they created, you can go to the Stanford Alpaca GitHub repository. And if you scroll down, you can know what it is and how they achieve this in more details. But they say that the code for generating the data, the code for fine tuning the model, the 52K data will use for fine tuning the model. So if you click this 52K data, it will go down here. And here is the actually the training data, how it, how it looks like. So it says here, Alpaca data JSON contains 52K instruction following data we use for fine tuning the Alpaca model. This JSON file is list of dictionaries. Each dictionary contains the following fields. So in the beginning, they provide the instruction, which is a string, describes the task the model should perform. Each of the 52K instructions is unique. And there is the input, which is also the string optional context or input for the task so this is actually optional for example when the instruction is summarize the following article the input is the article so we need to provide the article around 40 percent of the examples have an input and the output is also the string the answer to the instruction as generated by the text da vinci 003 as i said before they generated the training data with the text Da Vinci 003 from the open AI. So as you see here, this is the example, but if you click this JSON data, as if this is openly available, it will redirect to this page and let's say view raw. Let's say if it opens or not, I hope it will. So here is all the 52K training data that is publicly available for us to see what kind of input they had to the Meta's Llama model to create the alpaca model. I hope you will also find it interesting. Just go through the training examples. It will help you to play around with the model in the UI once you solve it. Once the models are downloaded, you need to solve that so that it opens in the local host, right? In a local machine. So you need to run the command npx dali at the rate 0.3.1, the particular version that we used solve dash dash home dalai test because we downloaded the models in that particular folder once you run the command it will provide you the link localhost 3000 so now we can use the particular models let's use the alpaca 7b for this particular demonstration let's go with one of the different templates because before we went with the default one in the beginning of this video let's go with the ai dialogue and let's say that, okay, what is this? It's, there is the instruction here, which says that write the AI, last AI response to complete the dialogue. And this is the dialogue. 
And here the user is saying hello to AI and AI is saying hello, how can I assist you today? Now in the prompt, we need to provide some information. Let's say, how are you doing? Let's say how AI is doing today. And then you can press the go. Now it says here, okay, how are you doing today? Below is a, so this is what it's being printed now here. Write the latest, okay, dialogue. Hello AI, how are you doing today? And okay, thank you for asking. Things have been going pretty well lately. So you get the idea how you get the reply. Many people are saying that, okay, Alpaca model or Llama model is just like that GPT running a local machine, but it's not just the chat GPT. So it's just the whole model itself, like GPT-3 model. Let's say that you want to do some sentiment analysis or tweet sentiment. Here it says, I hate it when my phone battery dies and the sentiment is negative. And my dad has been thumbs up, so that is positive. So this is the link to the article that is neutral, that is nothing positive or negative. So what we can ask here, let's say in the prompt, we ask here something like, today is rainy day. Just, just this, today is rainy day. And let's see what the sentiment of that is. Because there is, I think, nothing sentiment there. It must be neutral, but let's see what it will give. It will say negative, okay. It says that some, for some people, rainy day might be good. Some might be negative or positive. But according to Alpaca model, it says that today is rainy is negative. So this is how you can play around with this model. So yeah, this is just the video I want to create because there were so many confusion of people how to run this because they were getting some errors during downloading of the model. So I hope now you also followed what I went through and now you can download it and run in your local machine. Let me know in the comment section if you were successful or not or if you get some errors. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.